Hey guys, my name is Mariah. I am a realtor and an Airbnb host and I'm making this video today because this is something I constantly get asked about and this is just some honest, raw information that I wish I would have known before I got into Airbnb. In this video, I'm going to share how much money we made when we first started hosting and how much money we're making hosting right now with Airbnb in Salem, Oregon. Um, and I think these numbers are pretty typical, so you can get a better idea of how much money you could potentially make as an Airbnb host. When you're hosting on Airbnb, you can choose to list um, your whole house, which means you're not there and the guests get, get everything. Um, and that's what we do. And of course, you can charge more doing that than the other options. You can also choose to rent out a private room or you can choose to just rent out a shared space, which would mean they sleep on the couch. When my husband and I put our house on Airbnb, it was kind of a spur of the moment thing. Um, I, it was like midnight and we were like, Hey, we should put our house on Airbnb and see what happens. So we just took some crappy iPhone photos and, um, put it up. We thought it was overpriced. We weren't expecting anyone to book with us because of the area we live in. So we put it up about midnight by five in the morning. I had, um, requests for people asking to stay with us. A couple hours later, we had more people asking to stay with us. A couple hours later, we had more people asking to stay with us and that happened all day long. So we raised the price. And then every time we got a new booking, we basically raised the price and that's how it all got started. We weren't planning on doing this. It was something we did on accident, but I'm so glad we did because it's been really fun and it's a really awesome way to have some extra income. That being said, our first guests stayed with us. So they stayed for 15 nights. It's kind of crazy. I would not do that again. I would not want to leave my house again for 15 nights and find somewhere else to stay. But they stayed for 15 nights and they paid $979 for that whole time. And there were three guests. And they thought they were getting a really good discount and we thought we were charging a lot. So we learned from that one. Second guest stayed for three guests, seven nights, $480. Next guest four guests, eight nights, $755. So you get the idea. I'm going to pull up my listing right now. We actually have been meaning to take new listing photos because our photos currently suck. So right now, Airbnb suggests, um, they have a little like suggestion or tip of what they think you should list your house for based off of other homes in the area with similar criteria to yours, what's going on in the area. So they suggest that we charge $80 a night as the minimum we charge $120 a night as the minimum and it's working for us. Um, extra charges. We, as you can see here, extra charges, um, a hundred dollars security deposit that our guests get back. If they don't break anything, we have a $25 charging, a $25 charge for a cleaning fee, but we just pocket that and clean it ourselves. And then we charge $15 for every extra guest after two people. I think one of the reasons why we get so many bookings is because um, we don't really have a limit on how many people can stay at our place. Um, so a lot of Airbnbs will say you can have four people, no more, whatever. But ours is says 16 people plus. And I know that sounds crazy like having 16 people in our house because it's not a big house by any means. But we had a college girls basketball team request to stay with us. We had um, a bridal party request to stay with us. So there are people in situations where it's going to cost them way more to get a hotel and everyone won't be able to stay together because you can't fit 20 people in a hotel room. Um, so they look for Airbnbs and not many people have Airbnbs in this area where they allow that many people to stay with them. And when we have that many people stay with us, we charge a lot because of the extra fees for every extra person. So I think it's worth it. We haven't had any crazy damages happen yet. So there are ways to do Airbnb and make it fit into your lifestyle. Hopefully those tips were helpful to you guys. Feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.